Hello, my name is Amy Ecker, and today I am using the Too Faced Power of Makeup from Nikki Tutorials. Nikki was probably the second woman I found on YouTube to do makeup right behind the Makeup Geek, and I fell in love with her. She gave me so much hope and inspiration for having such pale skin and still being able to pull off some amazing looks. So thank you, Nikki, for being one of the first ladies I've ever followed. I will say this palette is amazing. So these colors are stunning and they rock. And I will say later in the video, most likely, is that when I did a real quick dry swatch test with my fingers, I was actually almost a little disappointed. They felt a little dry, so I was worried about the ability to blend. I thought they might be patchy. Too Faced, for the most part, is fantastic. They rarely let me down, but there are those occasional times where the colors just don't pop. And being on a fair toned skin, such as myself, most colors should pop. So anyways, last night I was a little nervous, but today in actually using them, I am in love. So these colors absolutely pop, they blend, they're fantastic. I am totally thrilled that I purchased this palette. If you've ever had a chance to watch any of Nikki's tutorials, you know doing a splendid palette, a fantastic palette, a palette that has blushes or maybe a highlighter or maybe even a bronzer would be over the top, you would think. But no, Nikki is over the top and she has done it wonderfully. So when you get this, you also get like a little goodie bag on top of it. Like most people would think, wow, this is absolutely enough, but no, Nikki goes above and beyond. She gives you glitter, and this glitter is stunning. It is white, but it has little jewels in it. She also gives you the Too Faced Sketch Marker. The Too Faced Sketch Marker goes on your eyes absolutely smooth, but if you do have problems with allergies like I do, this may be a little bit harder for you to use on the inner corner. You'll see later that it, whoops, had a little accident when my eyes started watering. But then she finishes out with the Better Than Sex Mascara and Better Than Sex in Purple. Who knew? So actually, not just did Nikki give us a fantastic palette that you can take with you. It's cute. It's wonderful. It's sleek. It will travel well. It has everything you need in it but she gave you a little goodie bag with all these little extras in it. So Nikki, I want to say thank you. Too Faced, you did a wonderful job in a collab with and capturing the spirit of a true makeup artist and all that she loves to do and loves to give her fans. Okay, we're going to get started with the eyes. So I've already primed and prepped my face and put on a tad bit of lips. So from there, we're going to go ahead and from there, we're going to prime the eyes with Nikki's Shadow Insurance. While that is setting in, then we will carve out our eyebrows. I'm looking forward to using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance because I have been on a rut or in a kick, in a kick or a rut with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. So I'm kind of excited to get out of my comfort zone or my rut and use something new. Speaking of ruts, <laughs> I'm going to go and do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Dip Brow, and this is, of course, in chocolate.
I have no clue what I'm about ready to do. I looked at this palette all night last night and there were so many beautiful colors that I kept thinking about all the different color combinations. I thought I had something set in my mind of what I wanted to do today and then I looked at these colors again. I have no clue. So you're just going to walk through this journey with me together and we are literally going to play. So let's see what kind of look we come up with next. I have my eyes prepped with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So now we're going to go in and I'm going to start with Ivy, which is a nice white light color. And we're going to apply that from and use that as a base over the top of that primer to make things easier when we blend. I typically like to start with a very light color all over from the lash line all the way to the brow bone. Just for blending purposes, it just really seems to make a difference. Okay, this white in Ivy is a very pigmented white and that is exciting because usually with whites you have to continually put on and try to pack on and get it whiter and whiter. So considering that I just swept this on from lash line to eyebrow, very excited to see how pigmented Ivy is from the get-go. So can't wait to see what else we get into. I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with the painkiller as our transition color. And I'm going to sweep that above the crease towards the eyebrow. When I first felt this col these colors last night, when I got home, I really thought they were going to be dry. Um, my initial finger swatch, I wasn't excited, I'll be honest. So I wasn't expecting today for these to blend and go on as easy as they have. So I'm real excited to see that. Okay, we've used painkiller from the crease line up towards the brow bone, just doing a nice white sweeping motion. And that's going to give us a beautiful transition color. So the painkiller is just a very nice color I, that I had done some initial swatch test and noticed that the eye palette was dry or it felt dry to the touch. So I was kind of worried about putting them on and that they may not blend well, they may be patchy, but so far this is working much better than just a quick swatch test. So very, very excited that the quality seems to be better than what I had anticipated last night. Okay, I'm gonna take a MAC 222 brush. It's kind of a fine pencil brush and I'm gonna take Mystic Hour. We're gonna see what's up with the Mystic Hour. And I'm just gonna carve into the crease, but lower on the crease line. Kind of getting towards a little bit as far as the lid and I'm taking that in to the inner corner a little bit and smoothing that out. And I'm going to come in about a third of the way on the lid and hit that also. Using a dome type brush, which all my dome brushes are getting washed, so the, this is like my third or fourth string, we are going to take Makeup and Chill, dab that on, and we're going to go right above the Mystic Hour. Kind of going to soften the Mystic Hours harsh line. I've gotten a little bit crazy over here, so I'm just going to clean that up with the Q-tip a little bit and get my lines back or the edges back in order. With the angled brush, I'm going to take 
some of that makeup and chill and kind of go right on the edge here, bringing it down a little bit because we're going to sweep our lower lash line and smoke it out. So I'm just preparing the edge of my eyeshadow for that to blend in and match. And I'm also surrounding the teal so it's not all in your face teal. Hello, 80s, boom. <laughs> I'm gonna take the tardiest pencil, eye pencil. I'm gonna take that on the inner waterline. With my Morphe 432 brush, I'm going to take some of the painkiller and I'm going to blend out that black and smoke it out. Going in along the lash, the lower lash line. Wiping off that same brush, I'm going to go back in with the Mystic Hour. and start right about two-thirds and go on top of the painkiller. I'm going to wipe off that same brush going back in with the Makeup and Chill and on about the outer third I'm going to sweep that up to where I had the makeup and chill surrounding the Mystic Hour. I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics number 12 brush and just smooth out everything I've just done. On a small flat brush, this is a mini concealer brush from Makeup Beak. I'm going to take the Silver Frosted Yum And I'm going to pack that on the inner two-thirds of the eye. And Frosted Yum is a perfect description of this little silver goodness. Speaking of waking up the inner eye, I'm going to take a little bit more of Ivy on a round brush. I don't have the name of this one, so I'm sorry. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner. Someone asked me about these types of brushes, and I bought a set. And to be honest with you, this is the only brush out of that set I use. Because it gives the perfect little boop. We're now going to take the Too Faced sketch marker that came in this kit, and we are going to line the upper lash line. I will say the sketch marker is really good. We are gonna pop some falsies on. Well, the falsies are driving. My falsies aren't driving. While the falsies are drying, we are going to go ahead and use the rest of Nikki's Power of Makeup palette. I'm going to take my e.l.f. contour brush going in with the Chocolate Soleil. And we are going to carve out those cheeks. And that is absolutely a beautiful color. 
And we're going to look like we got a little suntan going on. So let's highlight and bronze that face, baby. And it never hurts to carve out the shin bone. The teal on my eye. I'm gonna keep the rest of my face neutral. So I'm not going to use the Justify My Love, but I do look forward to trying another look so that I can pop that on the apples of my cheeks. But in the meantime, fake, I will always love you. And I will, I will always love you. And I'm gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks, working towards and blending in with our chocolate soleil. And smile so you can get the apples of those cheeks. Or should I say the peach of those cheeks? Because this is a peachy color. I will comment that all of these, I will comment like that's a shock. I know, right? I will say that all of these colors are pigmented and for me, Too Faced can be hit and miss with some of their palettes. Some of them I just absolutely fall in love with and I can't wait to use again. And then others, the colors just kind of get lost on my skin and that's not a good thing considering how pale I am. So long story short, these are really pigmented and I really like these a lot. So. I'm enjoying this, but then again, my skin tone is very light, so I, my skin does pick up colors very well, but I will say I didn't have to keep reapplying because they weren't pigmented enough. So way to go, Nikki. So far, I'm really liking these um, colors. Now we're gonna go in with a little champagne truffle because we love us some champagne, and what person doesn't like a truffle? All right, let's see if this works as well on me as I've seen it work on other people. Drum roll, please. Oh, wow. Dang, check that out. Boom. I'm hoping champagne truffle comes out in a little container all on its own because this thing is going bye-bye very soon. Champagne truffle is amazing. Our falsies should be dry by now, so let's get on a coat of mascara. Once I get my false eyelashes in a place, I like to go and touch up my eyeliner. Now, while I mentioned earlier, I really like this um, Too Faced eyeliner. I'm noticing with the eyeliner that it is moving and shifting, and I do have a little bit of a watery eye um, I didn't take my antihistamines and that is a bummer. So if you have problems with allergies like I do, that just became a bummer. Let me see what I can paste or fix. We are now returning from our normally scheduled program. Okay, so my camera may have went dead, so I'm picking up where I left off. Anyways, I'm taking a bit of the Wanted mixed with the Makeup and Chill, and I'm just going on that outer corner and meeting that up in with our winged eyeliner. We are going to take the Better Than Sex 
Mascara by Too Faced, and this is in purple, and I'm gonna use that for our lower lash line. But what says Nikki more than some glitter? So we're gonna take just a dab of this glitter. I'm gonna take a small, this is actually a lip pencil. I'm going to use some MAC Prep and Prime and squirt on that. Just gonna dab a little bit here and underneath the inner corner. Oh my gosh, this is stunning! And I don't think it's zooming, my camera's not zooming in, so you guys are really missing out. Okay, I thought I was just going to do the inner corner. This is too stunning. I need to keep going. like a mermaid a fairy goddess this is amazing thank you so much for watching my video today so I did kind of a mermaid-esque look using the Too Faced the power of makeup Nikki tutorials palette and collab as always I appreciate the time that you spent watching me attempt some craziness as always if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or recommend a friend if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you even more for taking the time to watch some of my videos. Uh, there are so many wonderful, beautiful makeup artists out there, so, the op so for you taking the moment to be with me absolutely means the world to me. Thank you very much, and I please make it a beautiful day.